Good morning, Lobos, and welcome to In the News. Today is Wednesday, October 9th, 2019, and it is a blue day. Um, as Lobos, we will lead by example and encourage positive relationships, achieve our full potential, and develop up habits and skills. Lobos, lead the pack. Ow! Um, the weather today is do 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 do. Sergio, get us to the weather. Uh, it is currently 81 degrees Fahrenheit. It is partly cloudy. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy. Our low will be 75 degrees, and our high will be 81 de- 80, 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Height. Oh, yes. Um. Oh, yes. Friday. Friday is a cold front. Um. We have. Three birthdays to celebrate today, and they are Carissa, who is turning 12, Johanna, who is turning 11, and Anai, who is turning 12. Here are a few announcements from around campus. Students, if we are doing the kindness bingo, and it ends October 16th. So make sure you are participating because everyone al- who at least gets five signatures gets a popsicle. Students, make sure you are reading because our Days of Allah AR store will be open from October 14th to October 25th. Um, there are many prizes you can get. Uh, you can get for five pencil for five points you get pencils, twenty points a small stuffed animal or books, thirty points squishies, thirty five points different color squishy balls, and forty points a Rubik's cube, and five point fifty points it's a package deal. Um, chip bags, students make sure you bring the right amount of chip. You have to bring the right size chip bags because the big ones, the party and family size, you well, cannot. Yes, they will be taken up, and you are not allowed to bring those to school. And here is National News with Sergio. September 15th has started Hispanic Heritage Month. It lasts from September 15th to October 15th. Today we will highlight Pat, Pat Mora. Pat Mora is a Latina author of poetry, n- nonfiction of poetry, nonfiction, and children's books. Pat Mora founded the Community-Based Family Literacy Initiative, El Dia de los Niños, El Dia de los Libros, Children's Day, Children's Day. Her, Her goal is to promote literacy and love of books in children. In her children's books, she focuses on the rich Cruel, cultural, cultural diver- diversity in the towns around the border between Mexico and the U.S. My kids love her books. The children were young. When my three children were young, um, like many parents, I spent time reading books with them, and I thought, well, that doesn't look that hard. And um, so then I, I thought, well, you know, maybe I would like to write children's books, and began sending some manuscripts off, and they zipped back, uh, rejected. And so for a while, I I stopped. You know, rejections of all kinds discourage us. I began writing poetry for adults and actually started having some good luck getting that published. And after the second book, some of my friends said, well, why don't you try children's books again? Because now you can say that you have had something published. And... uh, So it was at that time that, again, after submitting one manuscript many times, it was finally accepted. I write both poetry and prose, um, but I always tell audiences of all ages that poetry is my favorite genre. I'm a Mexican background and, you know, grew up in the Southwest, so issues of indigenous culture and language and cuisine have always interested me. 
I'm also married to an anthropologist, and so he had some wonderful books about indigenous foods, and somehow those two strands came together. And one day I said, what if I did a book of haiku about foods of the Americas? When I, when I began playing around with the idea of haiku and indigenous foods, I did think it could be um, unique. Uh, and then I was so incredibly fortunate that this amazing illustrator uh, agreed to work on it. So I feel that uh, it will also uh, attract an audience, I hope, uh, because of the fun facts. And then the incredible art by our wonderful illustrator, Rafael Lopez. Through the years, I have taken a strong stand that all books are cultural. That is, all books are written by people who have consciously and unconsciously internalized a set of values, uh, beliefs, habits, worldview that shape them. The reason I think the word multicultural became important was because people noticed that what we call American literature or U.S. children's literature did not and does not reflect the rich diversity of our children. And so this was a way of bringing attention to the fact that we are not fully providing our young people with the literature that reflects them. Our children are diverse, and we know that. And we need to give them literature that reflects all the wonderful plurality that is the United States. Uh, I often sit, ask audiences to try to imagine what it would be like never to have seen someone like yourself in a book. And when I do that, I say, there are people in the room who have experienced that. And there are people in the room who have never experienced that. And we know that unconsciously it has a profound impact because it suggests that what you are, what your family is, what you eat, how you worship, all of these, what you think are natural in your home, somehow are not valued in the greater world. So if we believe that books are powerful, and I do, then I want books that reflect our rich diversity. I also hope, of course, that people realize that ah, I love this diversity. You know, isn't it wonderful? All the colors and all the scents and all the tastes that are part of these foods. And that somehow something clicks and they say, gosh, you know, all kinds of diversity. That's special and it's wonderful. It's one of the joys of the world. Did you know about the kidnapping at kindergarten? No, what happened? She woke up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This has been in the this has been in the news. En las noticias. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Lobos. Bye. Bye.